Adobe Animate. It's the industry standard for 2D. But let's be honest, it's expensive, it's clunky, and if you want to do anything advanced, like 3D VFX or professional studio pipeline work, you're out of luck. You are trapped paying a monthly subscription for half the power you actually need. Well, you can stop paying. We scoured the web and found five essential free animation tools that individually beat Adobe Animate in key areas, from the Studio Ghibli pipeline to full 3D rendering, all with a $0 setup cost. Let's start with the efficiency machine. Because for the 2D animator who hates drawing every single frame, we have Synfig Studio. Synfig is built to eliminate the need to create animation frame by frame. Its core feature is vector tweening and a full bone system that automatically calculates motion. Where Adobe Animate requires you to manually define every shape morph or in-between frame for cutout animation, Synfig does the heavy lifting for you. But here's the reality check. While you save time drawing, you trade it for three major frustrations, complexity, community, and stability. First, the interface is confusing. It's node-based, and the lack of tutorials from the small community means the learning curve is steep. Second, expect instability. Updates are less frequent, meaning bugs, slow rendering times, and system crashes are just part of the experience. Third, the support network is tiny. If you get stuck, the community is small, and there are a few modern guys to help you out. So it's a powerful engine, but it requires patience and self-teaching. For complex cutout animation, that efficiency might still be worth the technical headache. Next up is the gold standard for traditional 2D animation, Open Tunes. The reason Open Tunes beats Adobe Animate is simple. It was customized by Studio Ghibli and used for almost all of their works. This is a production tool built for professional studios where Animate uses a standard horizontal timeline. Open Tunes uses the Exposure Sheet or X Sheet. This format gives you precise column based control over layers, timing, and effects, the true pipeline workflow that traditional animators need. And for those who prefer paper based animation, Animate can't even compete with this software's dedicated tools. OpenTunes has the GTS scanning tool specializing in fast, efficient scanning and anti-aliased line cleanup for high-resolution images. Plus, its palette system is next level. You can set the color scheme for an entire series and then instantly adjust a color across every single frame with one click. Now for the reality check. OpenTunes is notorious for a steep learning curve because it's based on that dense studio workflow. You're getting the power of Ghibli, but you're also getting its complexity, expect more crashes and bugs than commercial software, and you'll spend more time troubleshooting. It's not a casual tool. It's for the serious animator aiming for feature film quality. Finally, for the absolute beginner who wants to learn the fundamentals without the massive complexity, we have Pencil 2D. Pencil 2 2 D doesn't try to be a powerhouse. It simply provides a minimal, clean, and distraction-free environment for frame-by-frame -frame animation. This wins over Animate because it forces you to focus on the basics, timing, spacing, squash, and stretch. It's the perfect digital sketchbook. It makes understanding concepts like in-betweens and keyframes easy to grasp immediately. It offers both bitmap, raster, drawing for that authentic textured feel, and vector drawing for clean, scalable lines. The downside, since it is minimalist, you don't get advanced tools. First, no advanced rigging or bone systems you are 100% limited to frame-by-frame frame drawing. Second, no support for sounds or cameras. It's purely a visual drawing tool. This is the perfect tool to start your animation journey, but you will quickly outgrow it and need to upgrade to something like OpenTunes or Blender. 
For the digital painter who wants to jump into animation without sacrificing artistic quality, we have Krita. Krita's core strength is its world-class brush engine. This is a full-featured painting program first, and its animation tools are integrated perfectly. This wins over Animate because Krita is built for raster and texture. If you want a hand-painted, grainy watercolor or oil-painted look, Krita is miles ahead. Watch this textured brush stroke. The grain, the blend, the variation. This is impossible to replicate with simple vector tools. Krita integrates the animation timeline and onion skinning right into its standard interface, making the transition seamless for artists. You can quickly set up your frames and then focus on painting beautiful artwork, knowing that your animation workflow is ready to go. Now, the flip side. Krita is fantastic for painting, but its animation tools are still relatively basic compared to dedicated programs. First, it's raster-based. Scaling up your final image will cause a loss of quality, unlike the vector graphics in Synfig or Animate. Second, it lacks advanced tools. There's no rigging, no automated tweening, and the export options are basic. You are 100% limited to manual frame-by-frame -frame drawing. Krita is the best tool for the painter, but if your goal is motion graphics or complex character rigs, you should skip to Synfig or Open Tunes. Finally, we have the king of free tools, the definitive Adobe killer in the animation world, Blender. The win here is the 2D slash 3D hybrid. You can draw your characters in 2D and then place them on a 3D camera rig, add depth, lighting, and cinematic effects. This is the power Animate will never have. For zero cost, you get an industry standard 3D tool set. And the grease pencil drawing tools themselves are highly sophisticated, supporting textures, materials, and complex shading that feels far more organic than Animate's basic vector brushes. Need to animate a spaceship exploding or create rain that falls realistically into a 2D scene? That's not animation. That's VFX, and Blender handles it all. Blender is the ultimate power tool, but it has the steepest learning curve on this entire list. First, the interface is overwhelming. It's designed for professionals, and finding simple tools requires deep technical knowledge. There's no casual use here. Second, the hardware requirements are high. Unlike Pencil 2D, you need a powerful GPU and CPU to render 3D scenes quickly. If your machine is older, Blender will crawl. Conclusion. Blender is the winner for power, complexity, and career growth, but it requires the most patience and dedication. Don't start here unless you're serious. Don't miss the next tech showdown. Subscribe to Technology Munch.